I went to go to the store to get some th items, and I was coming to a stoplight, and I had uh, a seizure. I froze, I locked, like my legs locked and my arms locked, and then I accelerated to the floor, and I was screaming because I didn't understand what was happening to me, and I crossed over and crashed into two vehicles, head on. My chest went into the, um, the steering column, and it pushed it down a couple inches, and then my mouth went into the dashboard, and that split my tongue in half. And then I went, I kept going, and then my face went right into the windshield, which broke my nose. Um, and I remember screaming. They contacted my family and told them I would be dead upon arrival. And when my family got to the hospital, um, they said that because the blood had gone into my lungs, that it, if I did survive, um, I would have brain damage and they did not expect me to survive the surgery. Um, I do have some uh, traumatic, traumatic brain injury in terms of like memory and stuff, but it's all healing and it's all coming back and I'm all progressing and the doctors were incredible. Nobody took credit. They all had, it was a team approach. I'm not the only one, it was a team. It was a team. I love that team approach. St. Vincent's Hospital is my blessing. It saved my life and I will always be grateful for it because I should have died and I didn't. I should have brain damage and I don't. The people need to understand that I should not be here today and that if it wasn't for St. Vincent's Hospital and the care that they gave me and the trauma team, I would be dead. And this is the place to come. If there's an emergency, I would pick no other place. I highly recommend it. Yeah, they're my miracle. Thank you. <laughs>